Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to implement nested routing in React. In previous videos we already explained you how to implement routing in React and also we have created one more video where we show you how to uh, implement URL parameters in React. So now this one is the third video where we will show you how to implement nested routing in React.js. So if we can say what is nested routing and why we need this nested routing so like let's say if you have a main route in your applications and then after you want some uh, sub routing for uh, component loading then you can use this nested route if you let's say if we take an example suppose you have uh, some uh, contact page or some other pages that contain some uh, that contain few more sub pages uh, so at the time you have to implement this nested route. So how we can implement it? Let's check out the examples. So this one is the previous uh, created uh, demo. Uh, I'm just going to continue on it. it this one is uh, like I have implemented routing, parameters routing, page not found uh, also like uh, show you the difference between nav link uh, link and switch and other things so like let's continue on it i'm just going to little bit zoom in i have already started this video i mean sorry at uh, this applications and it's look like this it's a simple one like home about about one about two it's a parameter routing and then after contact so now let's implement the nested routing so what i'm planning to do it I'm just trying to set this one is a normal basic website so for that I'm just going to remove all of them and then uh, I'm just trying to set the HR it's not a website I'm not right now focusing on the designing part but slightly I'm adding a few more things so we can improve it a little bit okay so it's some things like that uh, one is menu part we can consider it now let's say uh, right now i am taking this uh, route contact for nested imp routing implementation but in real application uh, might be you have some different routes so for let's say we, i have two more link in contact say contact one and contact two as a sidebar and based on that link i'm just going to display the content in the main content area so let me just try to create uh, change the contact page before that i'm just going to create two more contact page for reference one is i can say contact one as a contact one and another one is contact two I'm not going to write uh, anything like in details over here, just trying to set the uh, sorry. just trying to set the uh, uh, some minor text only. This is contact one page, same as this is contact two page. Now, what I'm trying to do it over here here this is content page contact page so what i'm just going to create uh, i mean to say i'm just going to split this page in two part one is for a link as a sidebar and another one is for we can say content area now let me try to add a class name And here is class name. Now, assume that we have a link in sidebar. I will design this page later after uh, implementing some P. I mean, demo. We'll see. Suppose I have a link that contains uh, contact one and contact two. Let me just quickly copy this link. Ok, 
okay i'm using navlink so definitely we need to import it it's auto imported now just try to update it like let's say this one is a contact contact one i can say c1 and c2 okay now okay these two link is available so i'm just trying to, to let me add br tab over here and we'll see okay good and uh, now let's say when i click on contact one we need to load the contact one uh, uh, content in the right hand side in the content area so now let me quickly try to uh, design this area for that i'm just writing side bar this one is the this one is the class uh, Twenty pixel background color. I'm supposed to add it as a DTT. Okay, let me provide you mean height as three hundred pixels. Now trying to add the margin. Right, as a twenty pixel. And add the line height. As a 30 pixel so it's something like this you can assume that we have more link inside but now based on the uh, this link we need to store uh, load the content in right hand side so just trying to set the same it is like let's say this is not necessary but i'm just trying to add it for understanding purpose So, uh, let's say I think it's fine. I'm not going to focus the more details, like more designing stuff. But uh, I can say we'll see. Like I'm just going to explain you. This one is a sidebar, and when I click on these two links at the time, we need to uh, load the content in the contact page like we can say in contact component we are loading the page so how we can do it we need us exactly same structure that we are writing over here right so for that let me write it why i am writing uh, this routing part over here because i want to load this whole content inside this uh, content area that's why i'm writing over here so this one is the switch then after route we have we have to define the path i can say contact slash c1 at that time we need to load one component say contact oh. let me manually import it import contact one i can say contact one is same as the contact two okay writing some text like this it's a contact two we can say it's a c2 
now yes you can see this page is selected i meant to say the contact two page that's why it's appear to contact two content over here it's a contact one page so i think it's good like we can successfully load the nested route uh, using uh, in the act applications so suppose uh, suppose as assume that you have another uh, part box we can say class name see box one i'm just going to explain you a little bit how we can use this route part i mean to say the nested route in component because some of them are little bit confused about how to set this nested routing and where we need to add it so suppose you can assume that we have one more box let's say box one i'm just going to say we take this one is the box one i'm just going to add the same style over here sorry wait i can say this one is the box one float lab just trying to write 200 over here and okay so now you can see i have added this route over here that's why it's coming here otherwise what we can do it in the contact page suppose if i want to add the same page i mean to say load the same contact it is in middle of the box i can do it it's nothing difficult and yes so this one is the way where you can add the details like this so i hope you understand this whole details so that's it in uh, i can say in today's uh, video uh, if you want then uh, we have uh, this articles that we have written in plumeditor.com this one is our uh, education blog site where you can find the details description yes uh, i have not taken the same example but uh, here is the uh, fully explained uh, articles where you can see this all the details so uh, i i guess uh, that's it for today's video if you have any doubt you can just uh, comment me or uh, uh, email me i will definitely come back to you with solutions so that's it for today thank you Please like, share and subscribe us for more video. Thank you.